the same let me show you what update happened today to the Sanskrit OSIR it has become much quicker and you can use batch functions for documents mm, there was no such function even yesterday so this is beta testing of something that has not even made been made public yet okay OCR completed directory okay, let's try and go for it so it's um, G G G G G G So last time I did it, it took me a few hours to scan a few pages. It was not like a clean OCR, it was the same dirty OCR, but it took me hours to do it. Let's see how quickly we can manage those 55 pages. The best part, it, it's not only scanning in batch it can save in batch so I have worked with Oliver's software for years I've seen it starting from the very first version mm, it was a turtle it was a turtle software for turtles Sanskrit turtles now now it's quick it's actually it has almost everything you need I wonder actually why the accuracy rate of, uh, of the software is not as high as I could actually wish for example there are some examples where I don't understand why are there so many mistakes um, but uh, there is space for improvement and actually I want to find the missing gap there was some software like in this in the 90s that had even a lower error rate for Devanagari recognition I wonder if Oliver is aware of it now it's quick you don't see actually no change I mean only the numbers run um, if I would do the same for example in IB fine reader which is like a, 10,000 times more popular than Sanskrit is and uh, the languages used there are used in everyday life you would see every page opening every source file scanned no, it's not actually critical you still see the software is working some updates happen it's simplistic mm, maybe it's it actually should be I don't know I've seen advanced softwares simple they all make stupid mistakes stupid mistakes that they could learn not to make but years pass I've, I've known them for 10 years, more than 10 years, it's 14 years now, nothing has actually changed, those 
stupid mistakes occur all the time the software is actually most of the time get worse delivers Sanskrit all series and a good exclusion from that rule so now for example if before I could only make an Adobe PDF layer for um, English text uh, a Sanskrit text in Yast Roman transliteration for Latvian text Russian text now for the first time for the very first time I can make my own PDF file make it public and it's all about Sanskrit that it's amazing nothing like that has been available even a week ago is the ninth version okay. so it's end of uh, October 2013 and I guess the real software will come out in like a month anyway it's a great breakthrough I've seen some some other software which is, was rather impressive. Vietnam Viet OCR, some open source solution using the icons I have drawn actually. Um, some great solution, and it's for free. That's the best part about it. And I wonder how they compare because everything I have seen before on Sanskrit conferences. Uh, Indian scholar telling me about how good they are in OCR was no good. They are really bad in OCRing Indian books. And uh, at least it was so in 2006. I haven't seen any real changes after that. So well, the only actual software I was wondering how how good it is was the bit Viet OCR for Brahmi based language like Devanagari for the Devanagari script but let's see I wonder how it, how it goes I will try is to recognize a thousand page document and I want to see how quickly it can be done. And actually one thing I would want to know is how much time has elapsed. So I mean if I uh, if I run it and walk away I would want to know when it has finished. And because it depends, I mean Recognizing five pages is not a hard task, but we speak about books with hundreds and thousands of pages, and we do want to know if there will be an end, and if it will be when. So I will make some, I will do some testing with the European printed books and the Indian printed books. I want to see the difference. Any. Even the interface has changed. 
it's a bit better now. It's a bit more easier to understand where you should go. One thing that bothers me is there are some decoration elements like lines with curves on many books and um, this sort of Sanskrit OCO tries to correct them as them as text but they are easily recognizable as lines curved or straight and there is no there is not even a, an attempt to do so which brings us even more corrupt demonography mm, and the same issue as I've seen in Abbey Fine Reader that there are too many text blocks created so usually mm, when I recognize a book the layout is all the same in, on all pages so if you ask me like two columns don't try to split it in two thousand ways otherwise nothing good comes out from it the next thing would be then maybe recognizing bold devonagari so they are text with bold devonagari and usual devonagari um, for example some comments could be in light devonagari and the text which is commented is in bold I don't know if it's how hard it is uh, but at least I guess one should try as it's a rather common feature The good part is that the PC does not die. There are some pieces of software that can kill it with large documents, but this one works stable. And the batch function, it's a dream come true. The feature was available for Hindi for almost a week already, but Hindi has no ligatures actually included and uh, without them Sanskrit is impossible I guess to recognize and the error rate will be much higher which we sure wouldn't want to be to have So it works on Windows 7. Mm, the Sanskrit tagger Oliver developed years ago does not work on Windows 7. It hardly works on Windows XP. Actually, I could not ever get it working 
make some text analysis. Uh, but that's another story, a long story. Um, anyway, what Oliver does is it's more open than anybody else. And when he put his digital Sanskrit corpus code on GitHub, it will be a small revolution. Because all these years, people from the Sanskrit natural language processing community, they were never actually sharing what they use. They were only telling the results, some of them, on some conferences in papers but those papers are not of real value actually you want to experiment locally you want to try you want to change you want to dive inside and comment and ask questions so it's a closed community it was Oliver will change it I, I, I see it I know, I feel it in my guts. He is a small, like, he's like a revolutionary man. He'll make it different. That's a different approach. People help you just because you're open. And staying close does not help anybody. I mean, there are not many people who actually need it. You can't make money out of it and reinventing the wheel is what I hate the most in this but you see it on everyday basis people do reinvent it and in so many bad ways they go wrong and they don't go deeper all they do is reinvent it all the time why? because it's a closed community It's not a bazaar, it's a cathedral, right? Is it? I don't know. I fight it all the time to make a change, to share what I have. So people don't do not have to do it once again. It's a pleasure to see the software working. Even if the document will be junk, it doesn't matter. It's a pleasure to see it working. When I saw the option to save the PDF, I was wondering if it's adding the text layer to some pre-compiled PDF file or we compile a PDF file based on those PNG files we are working right now with. So it was the second case, we compile a file. Uh, it was not easy to understand, uh, I thought we need to find a file which we are like combining which was actually not the case um, which is somehow misleading but not crucial the change is so big we have bunch functions for importing and exporting so whatever else is just like good to have but not critical not at all.
instead of going to sleep, I'm testing because I couldn't wait until the morning because I tried it on two pages and the res result was fascinating. I wanted to test it on a whole book. I can't get sleep seeing this. Because retyping those texts in Devanagari like a monkey is not intelligent people should do. They could should correct the errors. Oh, there will be plenty of them. But it's quicker. I've been entering texts for 15 years now, even more. I do know something about it. And I was serious. Uh, quicker way of entering text. I like finding the mistakes. I don't like just typing all those texts with my hand. It makes my brain boil. It's getting close. So I wonder what these numbers are. So this I don't know. It doesn't let me save either. Okay, let's wait. So fifty five pages do not come easy. It's only fifty five. I have documents with thousand pages and I want to go through them one step so it's not actually ready I guess or maybe the files are no good for it for GPA files See the results, okay. Uh, 